Yeah, hi, Anil Hansji. I'm an angel investor uh, and also chair of the BCS Entrepreneur Specialist Group. So uh, you've just mentioned the specialist group. Uh, how is that going now? It's still early days, but we've got a great committee of uh, volunteers and a dedicated uh, uh, person at the BCS and Tim Kitchen who's really trying to push um, a whole series of programs through. Fundamentally, we took the approach of saying uh, that actually there are a number of things that the BCS could do for entrepreneurs, ranging all the way from mentoring to events to open innovation with corporates. What was the best possible use of uh, our time, the BCS resources, and where there was the biggest gap, how we could partner best with different organizations such as incubators and workshops like the Innovation Warehouse where we're standing here today and others in order to best help entrepreneurs. So we had a number of work streams going with some great, great volunteers. And we're sort of at that stage now where all of that is coming together in some real strong proposals that I think Tim is actually going to be announcing before the movie here today. So you've just mentioned that we're here for a movie, the uh, Startup Kids documentary. Why do you think uh, events like this are important to young entrepreneurs? Uh, well, 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 well two, two reasons. Firstly, I mean, one is related to the actual content of the movie today. Um, I think it's, uh, it's a difficult journey for any entrepreneur, uh, whether you're old or young. Uh, that doesn't matter. You're typically on, the, on your own or you're with a founder. Um, you're typically short of cash. You typically have an idea that um, people don't believe in because it's dis disruptive usually. Um, there's typically um, not a lot of support out there. I think that's changing over the, over the years with the UK government doing a lot and different institutions like the BCS coming in and trying to help. But typically it's a long, lonely journey. And I think the best thing to do is show examples of how others have fared and how others have succeeded case studies of success stories, but also you know, showing the ins and outs of what life is really like as a startup kid. Um, whether you're old or whether you're young, it's just a euphorism. Do you think the UK government is doing enough to help uh, young entrepreneurs, you know, particularly in the technology market at the moment? I, I did mention them, and I, you know, I think it's admirable what uh, efforts they've um, been doing, particularly uh, around the understanding of creation of the importance of creation of clusters. Uh, and clusters uh, is really a physical place that uh, that uh, people come together and meet that uh, that form part of an ecosystem. So the cluster that we're standing in right now, is, I think, is generally known as Tech City in London, um, and I think it's comprised of um, important components in in an ecosystem that 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 is students who provide the workforce or um, uh, some sort of computer science IT graduates. Uh, marketing people, uh, digital design people, uh, agencies, um, venture capitalists, um, corporates who may buy, procure business development uh, deals with the young startups, um, and um, and fundamentally, you know, all under the same, almost the same roof, if you like, in in an, in an ecosystem. So that's Tech City, and I think. You know, the government recognized the importance of these clusters and, and tried to effectively try to encourage uh, the components of that ecosystem that, 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 that were weak. Um, and that has traditionally been, across all of Europe, uh, the provision of capital into, into these ecosystems and the engagement of larger corporates. So they, you know, I had an experience with, when I was at Google before I left to be an angel investor of the government encouraging Google to open Google Campus, which is another uh, 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 workspace in, 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 in Tech City. Uh, and for several other corporates such as Cisco, DC Thompson uh, 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 and others who are actually actively engaged in, in the community now. And that's mainly down to a lot of effort that the government have done. Plus they've been actually working on their policy uh, proposals to make becoming an entrepreneur, hiring people. Uh, and, and getting the right visas e uh, easier. So there's a lot of things they have been doing. Of course, there's much more. There's a whole load of government procurement opportunities that can be innovated into. And finally, if you've got one piece of advice for a young entrepreneur who's about to start off on the journey, what would it be? Well, I think the, the other reason it's important to do events and why ecosystems are important is because, uh, you know, frankly, that's that's the equivalent of the Starbucks coffee effect where you sit down and meet other uh, entrepreneurs and hear about 
the journeys they've been on, uh, what worked, what didn't work, where to get help from. This is a networking um, uh, event today, uh, as much as it is about looking at uh, some case studies of, of new startups. And I think individuals should speak a lot more to each other to learn from each other. And, and I, th there's nothing that, rep that can re re replace existing learning and learning of uh, others which is the whole background to, to the concept of mentoring, uh, which is something the BCS is promoting as well. But individuals can learn so much from other startups, um, and that's something that uh, I always encourage more of. It happens so much naturally in California, in the Starbucks or, uh, or, uh, coffee houses, uh, and we need to promote that by putting on events like this and encouraging much more of a, a density approach uh, to, uh, to clusters.